everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be doing my June book haul. I kind of feel like it might look like I'm wearing a curtain, which is like a look to say the least. I was trying to come up with a curtain pun, but I got nothing. Apparently I'm off my game today. I also feel like a T-Rex and I'm like, I've got a big head and little arms. I forget what that's from. I remember watching the trailer for whatever movie it was over and over again because I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. Anyways, when I raise my arms, things like this happen. So like, what is this? Do -do -do. Anyways, this video is sponsored by Chapters Indigo, which is the bookstore that I work at, but my favorite place to shop for books. I have lots of books to talk about today. Kind of a mixed stack here, so let's just get into it. Ah, the sounds of love. Why do all my cats do this to me? Oh, well I'll be. So I'll just start off with the YA books that I got. So the first book is Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Welch. This is by the same author of Love and Gelato, which I read and I really enjoyed. It was a summer contemporary that was a lot more intense than I had been expecting. So for this one, I'm kind of expecting it to be a little intense. This follows the main character, Addie, as she visits Ireland for her aunt's very lavish destination wedding. She's hoping that in Ireland, she'll be able to get her mind off of a horrible, unidentified, unnamed thing, TM, that happened. I'm saying TM because there's so many books that have like that horrible unidentified but always referred to thing in them and it kills me until I find out. But when she's in Ireland she finds a guidebook that is Ireland for the heartbroken. So by following this guidebook she is able to escape her anxiety and her brother's increasing criticism. Instead she finds herself on a very crazy tour of all of Ireland with of course a cute Irish boy in tow. I've been to Ireland before and it wasn't like the best experience of my life just for health issues as you guys have heard so many times. But I think it's such a beautiful place and I did like partially enjoy my time there. As a country, I think it's amazing and I'm so excited to read this book and travel there. Next, I have a couple of books that are by the same author and that author is Sarah Dessen. So Sarah Dessen is a pretty iconic YA contemporary author, but she's one that I've never read anything of hers. Did that sentence make sense? I don't know, but we'll pretend that it did. My sisters have read her stuff and I just never have been compelled to pick anything of hers up. I don't really know why, but I ended up going and looking for which ones not were like the highest rated or the most read or her most popular, but the ones that sounded the most intriguing to me. So I ended up with Along for the Ride and Dreamland. I also discovered in my search that her synopsises, synopses, synopsi, I don't know, but whatever they are, they're very, very vague. Usually you get that for like mysteries and thrillers and sometimes fantasies, but not generally, but it's really weird that there's just a plain old contemporary that's like that. So Dreamland follows a girl whose sister just left so she feels lost and she's basically trying to find herself. That's what I got from it. And then Along for the Ride follows a girl who is an insomniac so when it's nighttime is when she's most awake and she ends up going with this guy who is also an insomniac and they have like their free summer nights where he's her nocturnal tour guide. I don't know, it sounded really interesting. So I'm really excited to see what Sarah Dessen is all about because she definitely has a million books and she has a lot of hype surrounding her so we'll see how I like these. Next is a fantasy novel and that is The Orphan Queen by Jodi Meadows. Jodi Meadows is one of the co-authors of My Lady Jane and My Plain Jane and she also has her own trilogy which is called The New Soul Trilogy. That trilogy is a little bit older but I really enjoyed it when I read it which was when I like first started booktube. They have beautiful covers and I just I thought the story was so fascinating. So when she came out with a new fantasy novel I was definitely intrigued by it but for some reason I never picked it up until now. So this follows the princess of a conquered nation as she is trying to regain her throne but her best friend there's some like shady stuff going on there she's becoming suspicious and she just really doesn't know who to trust. Not to mention that there's also this toxic byproduct of magic that is sweeping across the land and warping the land and the animals. This I think it's a trilogy I'm not too sure but whatever it is it's done now so if I like this one then I'll be able to pick up the sequel right away which is always great and I'm just interested to see how this is because she writes some really interesting and very unique fantasies from what I've read. Next is Dare Mighty Things by Heather Kaczynski. I had originally heard about this a while ago and I actually picked it up a while ago but I'm just getting around to hauling it now. But I heard about it from Kayla over at Books and Lala and we don't really have the same taste in books but like I just still can't stop watching her videos and this was one that sounded really interesting to me and I know that she had liked it so I wanted to give it a go. It's about gifted students who are given the chance to 
travel to space, but they have to compete in this competition first. From what I know, Lala really likes to read books about like kids competing and going to space, so this seems right up her alley, and the concept sounded really intriguing to me, and I do like the cover. I wasn't sure at first, but it's definitely grown on me, and I'm just interested to see how it's gonna go. I'm always looking to kind of branch out. Sci-fi is definitely out of my comfort zone, so I'm always looking for new sci-fis that I might enjoy, so we'll see how this one is. Next, I actually have a classic, and that is Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. This story is one that hits close to home to me because as a kid, I was obsessed with horses. Literally, if you ask like anyone that went to grade school with me, if we were on a bus going to a field trip and like past a field and there was a horse, I would just scream. My whole entire room was horses. I was just obsessed, like loved them so much. For my like fifth or something birthday party, the cake was shaped like a horse and I wouldn't eat it because it was the horse. So Black Beauty was a story that like I loved to hate because it's sad and I just, I don't, I still don't know if I'll be able to read it. I really want to and I love this edition. This is the Puffin and Pantone edition, which is so cool for this one because it's based on kind of like paint strips, but it's based on color and the fact that it's like black and then the book is black. You get what I'm saying? Why am I over explaining? But I'm hoping that having this edition, this is like the third edition that I own, I think, but maybe one day it will encourage me to actually pick it up. I know it's gonna make me so sad, so I just can't handle reading about anything bad happening to animals and it's just, I want to read it, but I just don't know if my emotions can handle it, honestly. And the last couple of books that I have are actually geared toward a little bit of a younger age range, but the first one is The Enchantress Returns by Chris Colfer. This is book two to the Land of Story series, and I read the first book last year. I actually listened to the audiobook, and I really liked it, so I definitely want to listen to this one on audio as well. I just love the fact that it's taking from all sorts of different stories. I know that Alice in Wonderland comes in here eventually, just based on the covers, but there's lots of fairy tale stuff. Like, there's so many things going on in the first book, at least, and I'm interested to see where the story is gonna go. I loved seeing all of it come together and how the stories were interwoven. I think it was really well done, so hopefully I'll enjoy the second one as well. I know this is like one of the most popular middle grade series that there is. And the final books for this book haul is Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls, 200 Tales of Extraordinary Women. This, I believe, started out as a Kickstarter, but I got this box set because it was actually cheaper than buying the books individually, but here we have books one and two, and it's literally just what it sounds like, and it is so amazing. I'm all for female empowerment, and especially showing young girls that they are stronger than society tells them that they are. I think this is such an amazing thing to do. It has all sorts of amazing women and just short stories about what they did and how accomplished they were. I just can imagine a little girl being told these stories at bedtime and then they stick with her for life and she remembers these women that were so empowered and amazing and she feels like she can do the same. I love the fact that there are different illustrators for all of them. Like all the illustrations are unique and they are all so beautiful. I'll show you the second one, but like they are incredible and there's so many incredible women here and it just makes me proud to be a woman. Also there's this map in here that like shows all the different places that everyone is from. So it has like a corresponding number for everyone and it is so cool. But if you're looking for a gift for a young girl for her birthday, whatever it is, Christmas, I don't care, just a just because gift, these are amazing. In the first one you hear about Amelia Earhart, Cleopatra, Simone Biles, like it goes across history and even modern. And then in the second one you hear about Mary Shelley, Nefertiti, Oprah, Beyonce, Audrey Hepburn, just so many amazing people. I honestly can't get over these. I think they are so cute and amazing and I love them. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much to Chapters Indigo for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to go and check them out in the link down below. And don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post. I put up new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also follow me on all of my social media. All my handles and links will be down below. I love to chat about books there. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!